Hello and welcome to another video from the fan pub. Got Sean with me. It's good to be back, and we are doing an update video today, aren't we? Yeah. Well, um, camp started, hasn't it? Camp. All the news is coming out, and obviously players are dropping like flies. Doesn't this happen every year? Just before we're about to draft, and I'm sure you're already gearing up, thinking of your drafts ahead in August, and thinking, blimey, ticking players off and worried that they won't even make the starting line. It's always the way. And with that in mind, let's talk about the AJ Green injury because obviously he's out for um, four to six weeks. Yep. Um, with torn ankle ligaments, it's it's not on the leg that he's previously injured before. Well, so it's well, I'm, so that's both legs. I'm now. very glad you've brought him up, and I think if we go back and were to revisit the green video, see why I'm not so hard on him as yourself, because I can cons my concerns have always been injuries. And well, yeah, I mean that is a concern with him. I, I I'm not denying that. I am a, I am a fan of his, but even now it, we, I've got a we know when he plays he's elite we can't we're not arguing that we're really going to just discuss really for the purpose of this video how many games he plays I mean thank god the injury is hopefully early doors and it's out the way well the thing, thing is he can't get injured in pre-season anymore because he's, he's out he's going to miss he's all out. of it so. and what do we think uh, speculation um, how many weeks he's going to miss at the start of the season because well, he's certainly going to miss some time isn't it, he it's between you know he probably isn't going to play week one so he's going to eat, miss between one and four weeks depending on how well he recovers yeah um, not ideal start, but that means obviously he's going to drop in price. So, yeah, you, you know, can capitalise uh, his value will drop, and we're estimating. We were talking a little bit about this a couple of days back. We were thinking, what fifth round are you roughly in large leagues? Somewhere in that range. Fifth yeah, round. I, well, not in yeah fifth round in normal leagues. Really, I think ADP are probably about sixty or seventy now. Yeah, so that's but obviously you're guaranteed to be missing about time. round five, even in a small league. That's round. Big league, sorry, that's round five, isn't it? After sixty four, so yeah, that that seems to make sense to me. I can imagine that drop, and uh, he, no one's going to know for sure how many games he's going to miss. So there is a bit of a, a risk reward here in that. Yeah, isn't there? I mean, you know, you, I've really you've got to temper my expectations for him now because uh, you can't keep making. Well, the worry is this is the you start. You can't really keep thinking he's going to be elite when he's not on the field, unfortunately. Yeah, the problem the problem I have with him has always been simply that over the last few years he he hasn't done it. Now that somebody actually threw an interesting argument at me the other day because they said you seem still quite quite strong on OBJ compared to AJ Green, and yet both of them have got similar kind of injury concerns. Yeah, that's a good point. Though. And uh, I, I said, well, I think it's a little bit different because he was playing for the Giants, and you don't really want to recover from injury when you're playing for the Giants. I'm sorry, Giants fans, but. I don't think OBJ's head's been in it. I think his head's right in it now and he's happy and he's uh, very at home. He's got his best friend by his side. It's a completely different situation. I think a lot of his things were, well, they're not even interested in me when I'm on the field. So he, so he kind of lost his head. So where would you be AJ Green now? Would uh, you take him Well, you know me. Any... You know me anyway. I'm not. I mean, I, I totally. I kept saying, even in the other video, you know, even yeah, if he yeah. fell to third round, I'm not taking it. And the reason is simple. Once if he falls to fifth round. Even if he reaches fifth, there's, there's, a, there's a value there because you're only looking at 120. But I'm looking at a player that's going to give me that and more, where I'm more concerned that maybe that's all he's going to give well, me. He could give you 120 and more in the playoffs. He might. He might, but then this could be the start of more injury woes to come. No, and that's the, that's worry, the worry for me, that it then turn, we get that turf toe injury back by week six. He's been on for He's two weeks. He's had that weeks. toe operated on. Yeah, again, great. Um, so I'm kind of no. I've got other players I would rather target than him, and um, no, he he's definitely just becoming more and more obvious to avoid. It's a real shame for AJ Green because he's such a good player, and you know you want to see players like that on the field, don't you? Well, he's excellent. We know, like you always say. I mean, every time he goes on the field and plays, it's not like I'm worried about production. I I know he's rock solid for those high end or at least low end W R one numbers. He's going to give you those wide receiver one numbers, but. Without him being there, there's nothing you can do. And the last thing you need in your drafts is picking a player that doesn't start. And then you have the uncertainty of not knowing how many weeks he's going to miss. It's, and I it's hate one that. of those things when elite player is going to miss time early, whether it's, you know, PED violation. You had it with Edelman last year. You know, you had it with Bell a few years back. I think he missed nearly every every game. Well, every game, last year. Yeah. Um, but there is that possible upside that when they come back your team's going to be stronger because you're getting that elite value it, it, there's around definitely, five or six there's now. definitely a value but I would I would again argue that I think that this is the start of more injuries is to it come. madness to draft it, 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 it's drafted kind of like you, you've got to ask yourself at what point do you, you know, imagine you get that wrong as well as a higher end pick wrong so let's say you do something really obscure like you think but imagine uh, I get it right. Well, if you do, great. But you that's the gambler in you yeah. going for the gambler's it side is. edge. Whereas I'm like, I know that my experience has taught me that if I get these first few, first five picks really wrong, it's not so bad pick five wrong. 
But if I get that well, wrong and like pick two, you know, or pick one wrong, then I'm in trouble. I'm well, in real trouble. Wrong. Wrong. Well, that's why I don't want to pick him. Sorry, that's uh, it's my well, advice has been well, the same you know, I mean, consistently. What are your thoughts on the injury? Do you think does it really put you off? Or are you still thinking, yeah, round five, like six, like an idiot, like I am? Um, well, you haven't I, drafted him yet, though, have you? No, so, I, I don't yeah. think. I, 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 I am. Even I'm very. He's going to be value for somebody. And and if you've got small league and it's going to be maybe your third or fourth wide receiver off the board, I, I can totally get that. That's well, look, perfectly They say fine. the definition of madness is doing the same, same thing, thing over and over. Yeah. And, and, expected and, I, I, and I know that is true because, you know, we've all seen, we've got people who, you know, just do some things the same and they pay a heavy price for it when you take these kind of risks. I mean, it's it's great. It creates a wow at the draft. Do you want to know at what, what point? Go on, tell people where you pull the trigger, what sort of ADP. I'm not because I've got other players. So I'm not, I'm not he's touching your avoid list. No, I'm, he's, I'm not even not even going to go anywhere near my board. Um, and there's many reasons for that. I mean, if I I didn't bring it today, which is unfortunate. I normally have my draft bible with me, and in there it, it very simply says injuries are the concern, and that was before the injury was the concern. So we're yeah. getting a lot of messages through. That could be AJ Green's agent telling us to shut up. <laughs> yeah, stop affecting talking. His price, yeah, stop affecting, affecting his, his price. Contract. But anyway, that's my thoughts on it. Um, I, I can't trust him now, and I won't be trusting him going into this season. I, I need my players on the field. That's it. That is a good point. Fantasy football players actually playing is a, is a, is a, a big, plus. I, why would I want to worry about finding a replacement when I've got, you know, I want my stars on the field. If, if something happens that I couldn't foresee, as I've always said, you know, like, say, for example, I don't know, let's take Amar, Kamara goes down week one, major injury. No one can see that coming. That's, that's perfectly fine. I can live with that because... No one, no one can argue you didn't see it. But with AJ Green, I pick him. He's already had an injury. I've already know he's injury. Got some injury history these last two years. Then he goes down again. I've already shot myself in the foot by taking him. So I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Okay. Well, I might take him if he fell far enough. But yeah, that's me. I'm hoping he does. I, I am very. I wouldn't want draft him high now. You can't. You can't. He's got to be round five or six, really. To, to even contemplate him at this point. Shame yeah. we never had a bet on him. What that do you think? Good. I mean, is there, what yeah. value would you take him at? We'd love to hear from you. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And, and comment. Under. And all your thoughts are always appreciated. As you know, we do react on them and we do put videos out based on them. So thanks very much. Thank you for watching.